All right, so I kind of want to start this video off and say that I'm back, finally. But I've tried coming back to this channel a few times and it hasn't always gone so well. So this is me saying I'm trying to come back again on this channel. Basically, what I realized over trying to come back with this again and again was that the formula I had going here on Outside the Box Reviews wasn't fun for me anymore. I was kind of just chafing under the general workload I created out of it. Every video did take quite a while to make and I wasn't having fun with the process of making it, which made me not keep up with the videos, plain and simple enough. So I'm going to say something that I'm sure everybody hates to hear from any YouTuber, and it's that I'm changing up the way this channel is going to be working, I guess, a little bit. And not in the sense that I'm moving away from looking at toys and action figures, because in the time I wasn't doing these reviews, I was still collecting. I was still displaying action figures, still having fun with that part of it. I was also still making videos, so I knew it wasn't the making video part that I was hating either. It was the specific way I was making these videos. So, my idea, in my attempt to make this channel fun for myself again, and hopefully fun for you guys, is to just kind of take a more casual approach to this whole thing. So instead of maybe doing videos with the elaborate background, elaborate, a piece of black cloth or foam or whatever, but with an official backdrop and lighting and doing a deep dive and looking at one of the like 27 joints that a figure has and discussing every bit of dry brushing over the sculpt of it, I think I might just do something a little more casual where I just talk about the basic idea of the figure and if I like it or not, if I would recommend it still, but maybe just not going quite so deep and crazy with it and so formal with it. And I do also want to include other stuff. One of the big things that made me realize I needed to think about going back on this channel was that Spooky Empire Horror Convention is coming up this weekend and I always film that. And I don't think I've put much up on the channel since the last time I went there and filmed that. So. I definitely wanted to make some kind of official return and to include that as part of it. So basically, if you see my October vlogs, I'm kind of thinking a lot of the similar idea with me when I go to look for action figures, even though Toys R Us is gone, so I've lost one major place to do that, but there's still other places. Taking the camera with me to conventions, looking at cool things I pick up, whether they be action figures or prop replicas, or some of the other stuff I've been doing lately includes taking figures and doing kit bashes, especially with like figure arts, Dragon Ball Z stuff. I've been making my own versions of characters that Bandai isn't giving us, and that could be kind of fun to film some of those. I've even been doing some Gundam model kits. Maybe I'll throw some videos of that in there. Maybe a couple of sword movie reviews, but I never feel like I'm the kind of person that should be doing movie reviews. I feel like I always kind of just go way too long with them, like I'm already doing with this video. But that's the vague plan. I'm not going to try to outline exactly what I'm going to do. I don't really have a fully structured plan. I'm just kind of trying to find what feels right with this channel, what I'm enjoying, hopefully what you guys will enjoy with me. And, I don't know, Outside the Box Reviews 2.0? Outside the Box Reviews negative 2? Some weird version of Outside the Box reviews, but hope you guys will continue to join me along with this, and we'll see how this goes. Later.